So within every cell of every organism on the planet is a blueprint, okay? And that blueprint, which is in DNA, uh, in humans and in, most, in, in things like bacteria, that blueprint um, encodes the plan for the cell and for everything that the cell does. If you can read off the blueprint of the cells of an organism that's infecting a patient, you can use that to infer all sorts of things about that organism. You can do what's called personalised medicine, you can give the patient the correct drugs for the infection they've got first time. I'm Dr Tom Connor, um, I am a reader at Cardiff University and I'm also the bioinformatics lead for pathogen genomics in Public Health Wales. What we do, so in the old days what would happen is with something like um, TB, you'd grow up an organism, you'd find out, oh it's TB, and then you have to then grow that organism on a set of different plates, each with a different antibiotic in it, to see which ones it would grow with and which ones it wouldn't, okay, because if it doesn't grow, then you know the antibiotic is effective against that, against that particular organism. We do our genome sequencing, we put our fragments back together, and then we run through an analysis process which, which searches that, that blueprint to identify um, uh, which drugs are going to work. So are there markers that are present? Are there biomarkers that indicate that this organism is resistant to drug A or drug B or drug C or drug D? And we do that simultaneously for all the drugs that we know of. Um, so that gives us a, a, a real power to provide very detailed, fine-grained information about um, the drugs that a patient can have or can't have in terms of um, what would work. But it also gives us much faster turnaround times. So with things like our HIV service and with our TB service, our turnaround times have halved since switching to this from our previous approach. We have a set of systems which provide services close to our sequencer. So we have a um, small HPC cluster with about 160 cores that sits in our lab next to the sequencers. So the data comes off the sequencers, goes straight onto that. It does a load of processing to generate initial results. In a healthcare setting, everything has to be locked down. You have to have the assurance that each time you run a pipeline, each time you run an analysis process, you are going to get the same result with the same input data. And so what we've been doing is we've been using um, a virtualization to ensure that reproducibility. So we've been using uh, singularity containers combined with a workflow management system called Nextflow. And that system provides us with completely locked down pipelines and processes that mean that we have complete assurance that each time we run that analysis process, it's treated in exactly the same way um, on each sample that comes through. Um, and so the most recent system we've procured is our, is our third system um, and that's, uh, that's uh, AMD EPIC running on Dell hardware and that gives us OpenStack uh, Kubernetes um, and Ceph storage all rolled up in um, one single set of hardware which is really quite nice.